Hansi Flick and Germany travel to England and to Wembley to take on Gareth Southgate's side on the final match day of this season's Nations League. And it was the three Lions who got off to the better start in front of a home crowd. Mark andre Testegen called into action and able to come up with a world-class save to deny Raheem Sterling just after the 25-minute mark. Germany with a chance of their own just before the break. Joshua Kimmich pulling the trigger from a distance but just puts it inches wide of Nick Pope's goal. Not too many chances in the first 45, but the second half was, well, entertaining to say the least. Germany awarded a penalty. Harry Maguire with the foul on Musiala. It went to VAR. The decision, a rather simple one in the end, as was the penalty from Ilkay Gundogan. Slotting it into the bottom right corner. Pope with absolutely no chance. And Germany with a 1-0 lead. 67th minute, Timo Werner on as a second-half substitute. Plays it across to Kai Havertz, the Chelsea man with a world-class finish. On his left foot as well. Given far too much time, but take nothing away from Havertz with that spectacular goal. And Germany 2 0 up, but the roller coaster of a second half would continue not long later. Luke Short pulling one back for the three Lions, playing it through the legs of Ter Stegen. And England then, with wind in their sails, would get a second as well and equalize just three minutes later. Saka and Mason Mount, the two second half substitutes, combining into the last 10 minutes and Schlotterbeck colliding with Bellingham the two Dortmund players coming together and England awarded a penalty which Harry Kane would hammer into the top left corner England turning things around inside 11 minutes of play unbelievable scenes at Wembley but that didn't stop Germany they didn't want to go home empty-handed, and Kai Havertz there again with an easy tap-in. Butterfingers from Nick Pope on the line. Great anticipation from Havertz, and just like that, 3-3 three, three the score. There was still time for one last opportunity. It would fall to England. Bukayo Saka goes solo, and Ter Stegen with a fingertip save just parries it wide. And that would wrap up a Wembley Classic. All that's left now is the Winter World Cup.